today I want to show you how to prepare your hand knits and hand crocheted items ready for storage for spring and summer. So to do that, we're gonna play with some eucalyn today, which is some awesome wool wash, and we'll also play with some other blocking supplies. We are going to start with a basin. We're going to use eucalyn, which is a natural wool wash. You're gonna use about one teaspoon or five mils per one gallon or four liters of water. After I get it in here, I'm just gonna give it a little stir. It got a little stirred up while I poured the water in, but just to get everything all set. For samples today, I have a couple of cute little sweaters that have been hanging in the shop for quite a while. So with my sweaters, uh, I try to wash them a couple times a season, uh, but you know, definitely before I put them away for storage. I know a lot of you will want to store your hand knit and hand crocheted items. So this will be a good demonstration on how to do that. You're gonna take your sweater and you're just gonna submerge it. You can hear all the bubbles as I go. And so what I like to do is just gently, you have to be very gentle. Make sure to get all the bubbles out because what we're trying to do is saturate all those fibers. So while I'm saturating, I can tell you a little bit more about eucalyn. So as mentioned, eucalyn is a natural wool wash. It is completely biodegradable and it is excellent for your hand knits. Uh, you can use it for wools. You can also use it for other animal fibers but you can use it for other things as well, such as any of your delicates, like lingeries and stuff like that. I actually will take eucalyn occasionally on my uh, travels because you can just hand wash right in your sink in your hotel room and um, it makes it really easy. The really wonderful thing about eucalyn, it's no rinse wash. So that means when you have a wool fabric, you don't want to continue to agitate it because then you risk felting it. And that is definitely not what we want to do after we have spent all this time hand knitting this wonderful project. So now that it's submerged, we're going to let it kind of soak in here for about 15 minutes. If you start to watch a TV show and uh, you go away for like half an hour to an hour, I've done two hours, it's okay. Just let it sit, let it continue to work its magic. The eucalyn contains some lanolin. So for those of you who are sensitive to lanolin, do keep that in mind. But essentially the lanolin is beneficial for the fibers of the yarn because the lanolin will uh, help to condition the yarn so that it, garment will last for many, many years to come. So it's been about 30 minutes now um, and you can see the water is pretty uh, grimy. <laughs> so thank you. So next what we're going to do is gently squeeze out the water. So we're going to pull our sweater out of the basin, uh, gently squish out all of the water that we just saturated into the fibers. And then we're going to jelly roll it out, one of my favorite parts, and then we're going to block it. When you pull this up out of the basin, make sure you hold onto your garment, your sweater, don't want it to flop and stretch your sweater out. So I'm just gonna gently squish, squish, squish it out. And I can already see these fibers have bloomed beautifully already. So this is great. So the sweater has been hanging in the shop for quite a while. It was probably due for a wash. So this is probably a good thing actually. Okay. There's a lot of water in here. Okay, I'm gonna put that here. Thank you, mucho gracias. I have a really nice towel here that I'm now going to use to jelly roll this garment. And we're gonna jelly roll. So normally what I do now with my own garments, I will you just stand on it. I will throw this on the floor and I will stand on it 
basically right now we're just trying to squish out all of that water and it is super, super saturated and this nice terry cloth uh, towel will soak up a lot of that water. After you have squished out all of the water, you're gonna see that your towel is super soaked. I will, for my adult size sweaters, sometimes go through at least two towels. So have lots of towels prepared. So now, let me get rid of this wet towel. So now you can use your blocking mats. They interlock and this is great because it allows you to pin directly into it so you're not gonna be pinning into the floor, you're not gonna be pinning into something where you wanna ca cause holes. This will allow you to pin directly into these blocking mats. For sweaters, I don't always pin out. Um, kind of depends on what I need, but just to kind of show you, so here, I have these um, really awesome knit blockers. So you can also use T-pins, which I sometimes use. You can get all of these things at Woolwinder Shop. But you can pin your garment into place. So here it kind of pulls in a little. So I would just kind of pin it out so that it all stays to the dimensions that I want. The knit blockers, these are great because for those who are lazy, like me, you have a large number of pins on one piece. So instead of just doing individual little pins, slowly, delicately at a time, you can just take this and stick it in and you get a whole side. So these are my favorite. Not necessarily because I'm lazy, but I like to be efficient and optimize my time so that I can knit some more. When I first moved here to the DC area, uh, I went from a large apartment to a very, very small apartment here. And I didn't have floor space to block my knits. So I would set up on the floor and block my knits. And then I could stand it up and lean it against the wall so that my knits could dry. Now I'm gonna let this sweater uh, just dry. It'll probably take at least a day. Um, I have a fingering weight sweater that can dry it pretty much in an afternoon, but of course it depends on how thick your sweater is and also um, how humid it is at the time. You wanna let it dry and once it's dry, you can just take the pins out, fold up your sweater and put it away for storage. I like to put in some nice cedar and lavender with my hand knits and put them away for summer storage. And then that way, come fall, I open up my hand knits and they smell and look really nice. They are totally ready for seasonal wearing. Go ahead and stop by Wool Winders at any time. You can get uh, the Euclid, you can get the knit blockers, you can get the T-pins and the uh, mats. Stop on by the shop and I can't wait to see you there. Thank you.